everyone, my name is Katie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a talk along with Nathaniel Rust, also on YouTube, and we are talking about health and wellness and um, comparisons and social media and like all of that stuff. And we thought it would be the perfect time during Nano to talk about this. And so um, we want to tackle like mental health, physical health, emotional health, and different factors that make us feel good and better able to write. We were talking about the importance of exercise and eating well um, that make us feel good and motivated and energized to write instead of sluggish or we all go through those slumps of just wanting to watch TV. Like I do that as my reward, so. <laughs> but I try to incorporate exercise every day at least 30 minutes into my day and I love lifting weights like find something you like if you like hiking if you like walking your dog um, yoga like anything like that just remember to take breaks and that like the exercise sends endorphins through you and makes your day better <laughs> drink plenty of water and also do stretching especially if you're just sitting at the computer for your job or for nano like stretch out your wrists stretch out your back your neck your shoulders ah get a massage if you can afford it um the chiropractor if that sounds nice but keeping your body in good health is going to really help you write the words also important to strengthen your mind so don't forget to read as well I know that's a little hard while you're writing um, I particularly can't do that at the same time but um, when you're not writing it's really good to read to get um, you kind of like learn other people's craft and voice and you just do more learning and immerse yourself in that book or TV movies if you're having any mental blocks it kind of helps you with that and so that kind of takes care of your physical and a little bit of your mental, um, emotional. I hope that you guys have a support group. If not, like feel free to reach out to me. Um, it's really good to have someone going through what you're going through. If you're querying, if you're struggling with your first draft, um, if you're on sub, like it's, it's a hot mess of emotions so please find someone going through that that you can like vent to and talk about the process with because you are not alone we are all going through something we all also have extenuating circumstances 2020 has been a hot mess so it's really hard with the comparison game and imposter syndrome like that really sucks for your like mental health and um, I know a lot of that is based on social media and um, I've actually stopped scrolling Twitter and Instagram. Um, currently I'm running a challenge on Instagram so I'm selectively looking at those answers so that I can engage with the community but I typically don't try to scroll. I do try to support my friends who are on sub or you know got a book deal or have published their book and I want to be there for them but I know some people have a hard time with that and seeing their friends or strangers being successful while they're still stuck um, querying or whatever level that you're at. It's really easy to get discouraged, especially if you're checking like all the books that are getting book deals on Twitter or um, if you're comparing numbers like your number of followers or subscribers. I was like really bummed with my YouTube channel and like I didn't have any growth then I had some and I'm back to being stagnant and honestly you got to think about what is a priority in your life and where you want to put your energy because that's what's going to make you happy. There have been several people lately quitting YouTube, quitting social media, and it's just because it's not making them happy. And this way they get to focus on writing in their family or whatever their priorities are. Mine, honestly, like I probably would get off YouTube, except I'm going to be on that AuthorTube panel for the writing community convention in 2021. So we'll see what happens after that. But um, I, you know, I started out with a few of the girls like Holly Davis, Brittany Wang, Brooke Passmore, Kate Kavanaugh, like they've exploded around me and I like am still really low, but I don't, I'm not able to put out that amount of effort, that amount of content or like whatever the magic things they're doing. And it used to really bum me out, <laughs> but you know, I'm proud of their success. I've just reasoned that it's not for me. So um, I'm okay with that. I did hit 1K followers on Instagram and that was really cool to hit that. I'm really close on Twitter as well, but now it's just say like, wow, that's really cool that I got there. Cause I do wanna, you know, build my reader base. 
but a lot of this is writer based so I'm not really looking at it as a numbers game anymore we did that hashtag find my writing community on Instagram and then this nano challenge that I'm doing has made me find some new friends and that I need because I need critique partners I need beta readers I want to you know engage more with people who are writing what I'm writing and support them because I actually love reading that too and so I want to read their works and this challenge has <laughs> taught me that I should never do a challenge again <laughs> it's very time consuming and I want to engage with everyone who's answering but that takes up a lot of time when I myself could be writing or you know spending time with my family or winding down at night or like whatever and so be aware of when you're trying too hard or you're putting too much on your plate or have too many like crazy goals like I did for a time um, October I was trying to like finish two books read a craft book for this video like for one of my videos um, read like beta read for someone make some other videos like it was just entirely too much and at the end of the month I was like you know what I just gotta let this go instead of trying to crunch it in and stressing myself out and you just need to like take a step back sometime if you're in that space because you can burn out and it sucks I really thought I was going to be burnt out to even start Nano. Um, thankfully that didn't happen, but I'm literally looking forward to December and I'm probably going to hop off social media for a while. I'm going to hop off like um, writing and my book business and like all these other things and just really like soak in the holidays. It's my favorite time. And so, you know, hanging out with family, I'm going to just do a whole recharge in December probably, and then come back in January for the new year. It's really, really hard, um, especially once you have a family to maintain the work writing life balance. And I was finding myself checking social media, answering, you know, I have a book business on the side. So I was checking all these messages, trying to respond to people, but it was during family time. And I was like on my phone a lot and I tried to do the whole block scheduling thing, but I'm just one of those people that's like, if you send me a message, I need to answer it immediately. And I need to just set hours and not make myself like this and really just be present with my family or like whatever thing is on my schedule for at that time. I used to go really hard and I think if you look around at some of the other people um, who were very successful, some of them have stepped back as well. Um, it's just like people don't have time anymore to do all the things. There's a lot of hustling in the beginning to build your like platform and then like you're kind of like free to, you know, take a little break but don't feel like you need to hustle in the beginning check in with your mental health and your emotional health um, I would always just stress myself out so much and give myself so much anxiety with all my self-imposed goals <laughs> and I've just stopped like trying to compare myself to other people and just you know applaud for them instead I know that exercise really helps me it's my stress reliever and so I know that I need that as well as writing down like a to-do list every day to brain dump and if I have ideas about things or things I need to do and it's a bad time to do them to set an alarm for myself or just make a little note real fast to look at later for like in making this video and my goals for 2021 which I'll talk about in December probably um I just really want to be more intentional and do that whole like pyramid where it's God me and Cody and then um family friends and extra stuff author platform all of that stuff um I just really want to be better and more intentional and there are people on social media who I really like um and I want to keep talking to so I'll make sure to like keep them incorporated but I really really want to focus on my writing and have a really good feeling about 2021 so I just really really want to focus on that and block everything else out that's gonna derail from that and um a friend told me that she experienced that you're platform doesn't matter your numbers don't matter until you have books out because then you, that's your reader base that are going to come after that and I know that some of us are reader writers and so we do both but um I thought that was really interesting because all my friends are probably writers versus readers so this isn't really my like readership base on social media and so I need to like not worry about growing that hopefully I have enough if an agent cares but um I'm, you know, I barely tweet anymore. Um, I barely do Instagram except for this challenge now. 
Um, I had stopped YouTube for a little bit. I'm going to put out some minimal effort <laughs> for that AuthorTube panel, but yeah, I don't know. Something's got to give really soon for me um, because that side book business, it's really helping with our debt and stuff. But um, if next year, if I go, like if we decide to go for baby number two, once our debt's paid down, I my brain might explode <laughs> like <laughs> like something is gonna have to give and it might be this channel it might be you know other stuff I have going on in my life I might have to scale back a lot but you set those priorities and what needs your time and focus and energy and you go do the thing and my thing is family and writing and if I keep that in mind um the stress and pressures should fall away. <laughs> if y'all are having issues with social media and comparisons or any of that, I encourage you just to take a step back and um, ignore it for a week, for a month, whatever you might need. I haven't watched that like social documentary thingy that came out. I don't know if that was more so for like what you're shown versus like what other people are shown. That's all I've heard about that so far. Um, but I know a lot of people were like, I'm gonna quit my social media after that. <laughs> but like now is the time to think about this stuff. Think about where your mindset is. Think about how you feel emotionally, physically, mentally, and what changes you can make. What is gonna make you healthy in your mind and body and spirit. Think about this now so that when we go into 2021, like, you're there and you're gonna do it. Maybe you just need to do walks and drink some water. Maybe you need to set a schedule for writing every day and just focus on you. Maybe you need to set yourself a 30 minute uh, morning and night to check social media and that's it. Maybe you just need a great support system in the writing community. Maybe you need to take something off your plate. Let me know in the comments down below what y'all feel about your mental, emotional, and physical health. If there's anything that y'all are thinking like, yeah, this kind of resonated, maybe I need to change stuff up. Or um, let me know if y'all do do comparisons, we all do it. Uh, let me know if social media has been an issue for you or not, or if you're just great at comp compartmentalizing everything and taking it in stages. Let me know if you have too much on your plate or if you're thinking about adding more to your plate. I would just love to talk with y'all about this topic because I think a lot of us go through things and it doesn't always come across on social media because we're here to be happy. And so no one always sees the dark side or you know what it's doing to us behind the scenes unless we talk about it but usually we're talking about it with our friends. I hope that y'all liked this video. I hope it wasn't too rambly, <laughs> but that's me. So um, don't forget to check out Nathaniel Rust's take on this. I think he's gonna talk about his goals going forward. Um, he might share about uh, some of his experiences, but definitely go check out his video. And I wish y'all all the best in your mental, emotional, and physical health. Until next time, bye guys. Yeah.